Hey, what's up guys? Bling here, aka Thrifty Fishing, uh, back at you again with another art edit tutorial using the Games Icons library. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a ghost-like card. There's uh, plenty of icons in the library that I think make making ghosts pretty easy, so I'm going to show you the way I do that um, and give you a chance to do that yourself. So, uh, first off, you just got to find you an image that uh, looks ghost-like or spirit-like, wispy, anything like that. Um, I've just found a new one that I really like. It's called Evil something. Let's see here. It is Evil Comet. There it is. So to me, oh, I drew on his face. This guy um, looks very ghost-like. Um, and I think I'm going to have him come in, let's see, straight across. Uh, so I'm just going to put him the way that I want him, like this right here. Maybe make him a little bit bigger. So the first thing you want to do to get your ghost effect is, you know, ghosts are white, so we don't want to change his color, but we'd love to give him, like, this spirit glow. So what I do is I go to the blur tool, kick it up just a notch, that'll give us kind of this black outline, and then if we go to the add mode, you can see it already, we get this awesome glowing outline. Um, and I think, like, a bluish green works best for this, so just kind of pick through them, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, then the next thing you want to do is get your eyes and your mouth colored. His head's actually a circle, so it'll probably be pretty easy for us to get a an eye and mouth color in there. Um, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you know that the way I the way I cheat circles using the the Colin tab. There, you take one of these circles here. Um, since we actually have a circle shaped head, I'm just going to try and make it the same size. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we go to filters, shoot that brightness all the way up. That'll give us just a regular old circle. And we are actually going to multiply on this one. And let's see, what about like a purplish looking eye? Let's see how that looks. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and blur up those edges so that it kind of matches a little better with his face there. Yeah, so it's sticking out a little bit. So I'm going to stick it in there like that. And there we go. So we've got our face going on our ghost now. And um, then we have to do our background. So. Um, for the ghost, I can just try to pick something um, that looks really, I don't know, like spirit world-ish, anything that, uh, I don't know, kind of a goopy or wispy. And then using the blur tool, I like to try and make those um, fit a little better. So this, at first, it doesn't look like it'll be very good. But I think what we can do is stretch it a little bit like this. And go ahead and just multiply that color into something like that. Actually, I'm going to tint it, then we get the edges as well. And I'm just going to blur that up. And as you can see, it gives us like almost this, like he's surrounded kind of look, like almost like a cave appearance. And I'm just going to go ahead and move that to the back. And I'm going to do different layers of different shapes like that so that we get this effect of him coming through some kind of, uh, you know, spirit world or something like that. Um, here's another good one, I think. Um, it's all zigzaggy. Um, and we're going to do just the same thing. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to blur it up maybe a little bit more than I did the last one. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to tint it. And I'm going to change that color just a little bit. And that will actually, um, that will become further back to be our background. So as you can see, we're getting this tiered background here um, with different layers and different stuff going on. Um, we can actually probably just use another one of those and just change the direction up some. Maybe make it cover some more space and just tint that again. Blur it up a lot this time, just as much as you can. And then move that to the back. And you can see now that we've got this very dark, hazy looking background. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come in with the square. And I'm just gonna move that to the back, which gives us like that nice white feeling anywhere where we missed it in the background. Now to kind of give it the effect that he's coming through something, I want to put some kind of, uh, you know, hazy look in front of him. So this one you don't want to be as intrusive as the ones in the back. You want it to be something that not take doesn't take up a lot of space, I should say. Um, one that I know works really well for this is uh, Worms. So you just go to the W's if I knew my alphabet. Uh, let's see, W's, Worms. There we go. So we take the Worms here. And you can just kind of stretch those over the whole thing and come at that with another blur. Like I said, you can blur that a whole lot. T 
tint it, and you're not be able to see it as well here because it's a different color. So maybe darken it down to like a blue here. Now you can see that it comes over him a little bit, not a whole lot, but enough to give it a layer. So then I'm going to come over with another set of worms. As soon as I move that back a little bit, I'm just going to change the angle so that it hits different spots. You can see that one where it got off center back there. It's kind of bothering me. There we go. Just going to click done so that I can get my top object back to the top there. All right, so I got my worms again. We're going to blur those up just where they disappear. Give us this other color. And let's see. I want to darken it up a little bit. And up that blur just a little bit. There we go. So, um, that's the basic way that I go about making a ghost. You can add some other shapes if you want to. Um, like I said, there's a lot of these ghost-like face clip arts and other ghost-like shapes and stuff. Uh, but that's how I achieve like that hazy, ghosty background and the colored in face. Now, if you wanted to do the mouth and the um, eyes different colors, you could certainly do that. Um, just use two different shapes to do the, the two things and then color them however you want to. Um, but that's all for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just let me know down below, and I'll be glad to help you.